The award-winning It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Hope Madden. This is It's Movie Time. And Aaron Sorkin. Yeah. Where have I heard that name before? <laughs> <laughs> Could he possibly have a movie out there? He <laughs> does. He does. But it's, it's interesting because he's directing this one. Yeah. So I was a little worried about Molly's Game because... Aaron Sorkin is quite a writer. Boy, he is good. You know, um, but I sometimes think that maybe as a director and a writer, this might get a little too Sorkin-y for me. Because <laughs> he tends to be very chatty, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, his movies are all very dialogue-driven, but it's, it's in a different way than, say, Woody Allen's, which are very dialogue-driven, because all of his characters are hyper-intelligent, and they talk really quickly over top of yes. each other. They say these flawlessly brilliant things all the time. <laughs> And I thought, this is going to be like, I'm going to get dizzy from this. But he does a, I mean, I'm not, he's no Fincher, but he does a fine job, I yeah, think, as a director. Uh, it sometimes remind me uh, of the 30s and 40s films. What do they call that? The the repartee. Sure, yeah. yeah. And uh, it, so it has a quality. So mm -hmm. when, when she, as the heroine, and this is Molly Bloom, played by Jessica Chastain, starts spitting off business about uh, high-end poker games mm -hmm. and so on, I'm really intrigued. By just the rhythm of her speech. Right. No. Yeah, Sorkin, Sorkin has nailed that. And I think Jessica Chastain might be like one of the perfect choices to deliver his, his monologues. Because she just seems effortlessly sharp. You know, she just seems very sharp-witted and in control of, of her surroundings. And, of course, that would be the, uh, for the other side, the criticism of her that she's way too cold. Yeah, you know, and it's funny because I, I think that Jessica Chastain is one of the, just the best actors out there, one of the most reliable actors out there. And I do, I can see where, especially in the last four or five years, she often plays a very specific type of role. But if you go back to The Help, which is not a movie I recommend revisiting, but she's great in it. But she's you're right. Oscar nominated it is, it's, it's, and in a completely right. different type right. of character. As opposed to Zero, Zero Dark, Dark 30. 30. But even then, I think that's very different because she was kind of introverted. She didn't talk very much. That's she correct. was, you know, I mean, I, I think that she's got tremendous range. What's interesting about this conversation, though, is that a year ago, the film Miss Sloan came out. I know. Right? Jessica Chastain plays a very driven, very intelligent, solitary female figure, not yes. that likable, making maybe not it legal decisions, it leads to a courtroom drama. I'm like, this is like the same movie, but with more eyeshadow. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now, we, let's put it in context here. Uh, sh this is a true story. It is. Uh, Molly Bloom was a an Olympic qualifying mm -hmm. um, skier. Right. Caught in an accident and then becomes the, the kind of host of these very high-end poker games. Right, underground poker games. Yes. Uh, that draw, like, the <laughs> huge celebrity sports figures, right. industry titans, <laughs> you know, uh, half a million dollar stakes, I millions know. of dollars right. cross. It is yeah. kind of, I mean, it's a fascinating story. And one of the things I thought was great about Sorkin's approach is that this is such a gossip column, movie of the week, fodder waiting to happen, you know, and he avoids all that. He's much more interested in her as this very intelligent, misunderstood, you know, interesting figure. And so, you know, uh, the names of the celebrities, he just doesn't wallow in the gossipy end of it, which I thought really elevated yeah. the film. Yeah, and because you're always going to be tagging him as a TV guy. Right. And so once he gets it to film, I think he really smooths that over. Uh the interesting thing to me about her is that she's Wonder Woman of a different kind. This is a good year for women. Yes, it and is. She, she's wonderful because she's supremely bright. Yeah. She's very highly motivated. And after the loss of her Olympic uh, possibilities, she just moves over into this other area where she becomes very, uh, very successful, with the exception of something she does which, which get her into trouble with the feds. Yeah, but what, what I like about... Her as a character is even when her lawyer, played very well by Idris Elba, how about uh, that? Uh, you know, wants to find ways to potentially get her sentence reduced by suggesting that she had less power than she. She's like, no, that was my business. I built that. The yes. like you. I thought that was. She was late for. She got to prison for it. I got to prison oh, for it. But an she, excellent you know, moment was great. But I, but Idris Elba, I loved the way he because. Sorkin's banter is so rapid fire, and Idris Elba just 
settled in with it a little bit. He took his time with it. He still said super smart things, but he said it at a, right. a, a yes. different cadence. And I thought it really well offset her delivery. And I liked the scenes where the two of them were together, which which are the scenes in movies like this that can be the killer. The actual courtroom drama scenes can be the yes. you know the undermining of a film. And uh, and I and I and I like the way that it was delivered in this one. And you know, I also appreciate the fact that it's not in the the uh, courtroom, but when they are dealing with her case, mm -hmm. there's not even a whiff of romance. Right. And I love that, and she is, and she states it in the film, there is no sex. Yeah. Well, though, though they gussy her up. Oh, sure. <laughs> to, to be sexual, she is not. And I love that in the heroine. This yeah. Is, well, and because, well, she says it would, it would ruin the game. It would ruin her business. She's in this for the business. Yes. You know, and it would ruin the business. She can't do it. So, but, and, and I like the way they treat it because, you know, and then, of course, every so often one of the regular players decides he's in love with her and he writes her a right. mash note and he confesses, you know, and she's just, she finally, she says, of course you are. I'm the anti-wife, you know, <laughs> I, I encourage your gambling. Of course you do. You know, she's, I, I just really, I loved her performance in this movie and I liked Michael Sarah. I was just going to ask you. I was going to quiz you as a matter of fact. Say what minor type. role. It's really Wasn't he great? <laughs> he was great. Now this is the uh, is Napoleon Dynamite kind of guy. What, 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 what Michael Sarah, I think uh, he's mainly known, he was in Superbad, right. uh, but he was, he's mainly known for the TV show Arrested Development. Okay. Okay. Um, and but he's very goofy looking. Yes. And in reality, and I had to look this up because I was I'm not super gossipy by nature, but I thought I I, I have to know who this guy is. I know right. who he's playing. It's Toby McGuire. Oh. Which they to, they don't say that in the movie. The both Sorkin and Molly Bloom went to great lengths to to hide these people's you know I see. identities. Oh, yes. But okay. it's it's but all it over online. Already, everybody yeah. like everybody. Oh, it's Toby McGuire. What a bad dude Toby McGuire is. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I just appreciated the dialogue, as you could have expected, sure. Aaron Sorkin. I think as a director, he's on his way. Um, Hope Madden, the film is Molly's Game. What grade would you award it? B. All right. And I'm going to award it a B plus. So I think we're within holiday time. Enjoy yourself. And if you're interested in the emergence of strong women this right. year, or just some smart dialogue, yes, smart. just a just a movie that doesn't stoop is gonna you know just is gonna be smart. <laughs> okay.